Today, we venture inside an abandoned $1.5 million mansion in the heart of a wealthy neighborhood in the southern United States. The man who lived inside was a doctor, but also enjoyed the finer things in life, art, speed, and adventure. He was an art collector as well as a car enthusiast, and he would often import his BMW and Porsche to Germany to race on the world-famous Nuremberg racetrack. Him and his wife lived a loving life, appreciating the moments they had together, evident by their photos and memorabilia around the house. But one day, everything changed. His wife, the center of his world, was gone, and after talking to neighbors, they said his vibrant spirit immediately faded, and he grew more and more depressed starting to hoard, holding on to things as if they could fill in the void in his heart. And only weeks later, he was reported packing belongings into his Porsche and driving away, never to return. I speculate that he just couldn't bear to stay at his house anymore, filled with all of the memories he had made with his wife. What remains is not just a house, but a powerful story of love loss, and an escape from a life that became too heavy to bear. Come inside with me as we document what was left behind and try to piece together the story of a once happy man. Art Explorers, we just made inside this beautiful mansion and here we are, this is one of the best places I've seen and definitely a long time. Right here we have the front doors, there's a lot of natural lighting coming out of it as well and that massive window up top too. Very tall ceilings, I'd say about 30 to 40 feet and a beautiful gold chandelier right here hanging up right as you walk in for some beautiful lighting. And from here we have three choices. We can go straight into the living rooms and the upstairs. We could turn right into a dining room or left into this beautiful living room. And so let's walk in here. We have beautiful green door frames. Very tall, i say eight feet. And this is definitely, without a doubt, a living room. We have blue paint for the walls. And as we look around, there's just so much artwork all over. This is definitely worth a lot of money. We were researching how much this is actually worth. And a lot of these pieces are in the thousands, which is pretty wild that all this is just left to decay. Wow. This guy was definitely an enjoyer of some nice fine art. Two sofas right here, very, very decayed and moldy. A lot of poop on it too. And to the left, we have a stone fireplace with a beautiful glass covering that kind of matches the whole vibe of the room too. And on the left, we have the tools to stoke the fire. Also very elegant, of course, as well as a beautiful statue right here and some more pieces of art on this pillar. Fake plants too, definitely creates a good vibe and look to this place. And of course, some beautiful curtains to match the room. But yeah, definitely a lot of good natural lighting coming in here. We have two massive windows, one on the right, one on the left. And so you really don't need these overhead lights for lighting if it's the daytime. I love how this light up top just illuminates this painting so well. It's kind of like we're in a museum. What a beautiful place. And for the flooring, we have hardwood. And this section is just this blue carpeting, which of course fits the theme of this room itself. So here we have it moving back into the foyer and I do want to spend quite a little bit of time in this room just to show you guys what individually is left. Beautiful table right in the middle, definitely decoration, probably sitting right there in the middle of this carpet. Back in the day, you would walk in, and this is the first thing you would see. Most likely very expensive too. And of course we have sconces on all of the walls for some great unique lighting. And all of the door frames are just this green marble too, which is very interesting. And so let's move on to this next room. And this is for sure a dining room because the kitchen is right through that doorway as well. And so this is where they would have their meals. And you can imagine the man and his whole family, if he has company, just sitting around this beautiful table and enjoying a meal together. And right here, we can actually see 
a picture of what this place looked like when it was active. And if we look back, it's like a perfect comparison. This place has not moved. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Of course, overhead lighting, and we have gray paint for the walls, and then some blue to match it around as well. Right here is where the blue vase would be in, and the photo we just saw, but it's not there anymore. A lot of fake plants too. That's a definitely a common theme in a lot of these rooms. So I'm sure he was definitely an enjoyer of nature and outside. I do wonder though how rare a lot of these artworks are. If any of you guys know a lot about art, definitely don't hesitate to comment down. I definitely appreciate that. And here we have yet another view of this beautiful room. The table, nice glass table, it's kind of tinted blue. And these black chairs just sitting all around it. And of course the fake plant right in the middle. Right here in this corner we have two art pieces, definitely very modern as well. Wow. And then of course we have the hardwood floor, but this individual section with the table has the carpet. And as we move into the next rooms from this doorway, we have what seems to be the beginning of the kitchen. Right here we have a lot of storage space for beautiful cups. Definitely for decoration, but if they have guests over they could take this out, use it, and really impress them for sure. A few wine bottles as well. To the right we have a small laundry room and a few litter boxes for a cat too which we are going to see actually in a few rooms it's a very very sad situation this man just left his cats in here to die it's very sad and unfortunately but that's the way it is and you could tell this guy was definitely a car enthusiast right here we have kind of racing flag as a decoration for this modern light and as we move along we have the main kitchen Right here, beautiful ceilings as well. It's kind of like a blue and white spotty pattern. And the breakfast nook right over here to have small informal meals. And of course, if they have company, they can move into the main dining room. Gorgeous overhead light and skylights right up top as well. But let's try to take a look at some of the individual things that are left on this table. We have some rocks over here and even this Porsche 911 Speedster. We're gonna see a lot of these car figures too, which is very, very cool. And of course, Explorers, the main attraction of this home is right through there. There is a doorway that leads to the garage and that's where the M5 is. Yeah, the kitchen is definitely quite hoarded up. There's a lot of stuff right here on the countertops. A lot of Quake Roads packets, as we can see right here. Even more car figures. And take a look at all the cobwebs just completely infesting this home. It definitely is a problem now. And it seems like the water still works because I could see it dripping down, which is pretty interesting that all the appliances and even the power works here. It's a very strange situation, and I wonder what's going on. But here we have a main overview of this room. The fridge, of course, right over here with the power, of course, on. And if we open it up, everything's still in here. It smells very bad, I'm gonna close this up real quick, but, but it's definitely very unique and very sad to see that everything is still left, even inside the fridge. It really shows how quick he really left. Of course, the stove still has power and a lot of foods and whatnot and all the cupboards too. And this hardwood flooring just seems to be in every single room in this first floor. And then at some parts they had a carpet to kind of cover it up. And this right here is the entertainment center of this home, the main living room. I'm sure you'd bring a lot of guests here, maybe watch the game, really entertain them. We have the main TV right here in this little nook and a lot of storage space right here. Seems like he kept a lot of books, a lot of artwork, and of course some more model cars too. Right here we have an old typewriter and some little decorations too. There's very good colors in this room as well. It blends very well with the atmosphere that it's in. It seems like he was definitely Jewish as there's a menorah up there. I believe that's what it is. And of course, a lot of cobwebs going around the ceiling. As you guys heard in the introduction to this home, the man just left in his Porsche 
and never returned. And so we're definitely gonna see a lot of Porsche and BMW cars and figures around this home. That's what he loved the most. And uh, how'd you manage to get the TV to work? I put a CD in and I, I was kind of messing with the uh, system settings and wow, we got it going. So is this a movie or what's playing here? Uh, yeah, it's a movie. Really? Mm, I don't know what it Dude, is. Dude, even the sound works too. Ain't that weird. Wow. That's insane. And then from this angle, we have a very, very good view of this room. It's very big for sure, very wide. The ceiling's probably around nine, 10 feet with fans as well. Glass table right in the middle. Of course, a brown couch as well. You can sit down there, watch TV. And then of course, another stone fireplace. It's a beautiful painting right up top. Usually the TV is hanging up right up top of the fireplace, but not here in this house. And we have a lot of great natural lighting too. We have two doors leading outside to the patio and then windows right here and right over there too. So you definitely don't need lights in this room, which I'm very happy about. And let's take a quick look at the outside patio of this place. Right over there, we have doors to the garage and this little area where I'm sure he had a lot of tables and chairs set up at some point, have a nice barbecue with some friends and family. Now it's just completely overgrown, it's very sad. And as we go over here at this corner, we can see another view of this room. But there's just so much modern art everywhere you look at. A lot of this stuff is definitely worth a good chunk of money. And I'm really happy that it hasn't been stolen yet because there definitely is some real value in this. This painting's huge. It'll be six and a half feet right here. It's hanging up and it definitely brings very good decor to this room for sure. And now as we head along, we are approaching the garage, which is right through that door right there. So I think without further ado, let's go inside and see this beautiful car. Here we have it, the M5 that this guy used to own. We still see his racing helmet and gloves right here below. And a cool fact about this car, this is actually imported from Germany. We have German license plates right here. And he actually rode this probably on the Nuremberg and the Autobahn there too. And now on the left, we have space for his Porsche, which unfortunately is not here anymore. But we can still see the tire tracks from where it was. And I think it's very interesting that he even had art pieces hanging up inside the garage and of course fake plants as well. So I guess this doubled as a storage area, I suppose. But either way, let's put our focus back into this beautiful car. Whoa. This is gorgeous. You can tell animals have definitely been here because of all those paw prints. Right there we have the M5 badge. Wow. And then inside we have a bunch of papers and everything all just scattered around the interior. Somebody definitely went through all this. The steering wheel is all moldy. Definitely very old fashioned interior for sure. Dude, what do you think of this? This is, I, how is a BMW sitting abandoned in this house? I, I can't believe this. I can't, I can't. If you notice behind you, there's an empty spot where another car was. I think there was a Porsche that was actually there. Mm -hmm. Because this guy loved Porsches. I could only imagine if he had a BMW like this and a house like this, he'd definitely have a Porsche. That's yeah. my opinion. No doubt. You just came from upstairs, right? Yeah. How is it? It's so bad up there. I mean, I was starting to throw up. Like, I felt like I wanted to throw up in that one room. It's just so depressing. I truly believe that there wasn't a squatter here. This was the guy and his family or something had to take him out of this house. Because things got so bad. I knew a guy, actually, that was in the same situation. And it's truly a saddening thing, what can happen to people. Oh, think, for sure. I think hoarding just um, took control of this guy. Mm -hmm. And he had a beautiful home, beautiful belongings, too. And now they're just, you know, here to waste. It's terrible. Look at this. Right here, we actually have a picture of the man. I think this is him. And look at this photo. I remember seeing this. That is the light fixture that we saw before. It's very, very cool. It's always great seeing a face 
and being able to put that together with the home. And so through this hallway, we will encounter the main foyer and the stairs upstairs. We also have the stairs downstairs to the basement. But I mean, it's a big hallway. We have entrances to all the rooms, including the kitchen that we just saw. And wow, beautiful ceilings as well. Overhead lighting, they kind of did burn. And beautiful patterns for the ceiling too. And then right before we go up the stairs to see the second floor, I do want to check out this bathroom on the left. Of course, the power is still on, the light still has not burned, which I'm quite surprised about. I have a lot of cobwebs all over, and all the decor is still here. These three paintings, very, very unique walling too, and the gold crown moldings up top really match with the wallpaper for sure. This guy definitely made his house look very, very good, very modern too. It's all dead now, very sad. But the very, very sad part about this home is right here next to the toilet. This is the cat that the man used to own that he just left here. It's very, very heartbreaking that he just left his cat to die. He left in his Porsche and the cat was just still here. And I guess he curled up here and died. So this is the cat that he just left and I was dead in the bathroom. Maybe, I don't know. That's Could maybe. this be his wife? Or like a, probably not a daughter, maybe his mom. So here we are back in the foyer and I think now it is time to go upstairs and see what is left up there. And so we have marble stairs going up and we have carpet right in the middle as well. Of course the power works, this light is still on which is so amazing to me. And beautiful artworks just on every wall. Wow. It's so crazy that the power still works. It definitely helps me out a bunch. I don't have to carry a light around too much. And from here, we have quite a lot of options of rooms we can go into. We have the master bedroom right there. We have an office right here. And if we turn around, we have quite a few more rooms as well. Of course, a lot of our work too. So let's start off by going into the office. I think one of the best rooms up here and we'll move around and see the rest later. And so this is definitely where he got all his work done. I can still imagine him just sitting there every single day, just finishing up some paperwork and whatnot. The fan, of course, still works. And take a look at this artwork, just sitting here still. Wow. What a beautiful glass table and all this stuff on it too. An interesting fact about this, we actually searched this up. This is worth a few thousand dollars. It's just a few faces. But wow, definitely very unique. Expressions of a facelift. That's what this is. And from here, we can get another view of this beautiful room. It seems like we have a pretty modern chair right here. Of course, a table as well. And this big window for great natural lighting. And from here, we are right up top of the garage. And we have another view of the patio outside. Interesting art piece right here. I think he worked out this himself. It seems like a bunch of photos he took and he cut them out. He just kind of put this all over. And to the left, another big window. We have a chair and a table. He can maybe read a book here with some great lighting. And of course we have the driveway right up here. The right and left, we also have small closet doors, definitely for storage. We can see what's in this one. It's kind of hard to see in here, but other than the cobwebs, there's just a few boxes, a little bit of storage, nothing really too crazy. And before we head out of this room, we have the bathroom and a really, really cool closet to check out as well. And so let's see what's in here. Of course, the power is still on, which is so crazy. And this bathroom is actually pretty clean. There's not a lot of damage happening over here. There's just a few spider webs, but other than that, it looks pretty new. Marble sinks all around, fake flower right there. And on the right, of course, we have another art piece, which I think goes really well with the wallpaper used here. 
We're by the toilet. We have three more paintings. And this little cat thing right here. So he was definitely into cats, as we've seen. But just simple bathroom, shower, toilet, sink. So this bathroom makes me think that originally this room could have been another bedroom, but he didn't need one, so we just converted it into his office space. And this closet is very, very interesting too. Of course, the power is still on, but here is where we're gonna see a lot of his car figures right here. The 911 Targa 2001, and just a lot of other Porsches and cars as well. Whoa. It's just set up perfectly like this. I'm sure you had a lot more just set up all over. These are pretty beautiful too. It's so sad that all of this is just left. A lot of car magazines too. With the M5 one right there. There's so many thousands of magazines just all over. Just left to rot. And one thing I forgot to mention, this whole upstairs is just a simple carpet. Right here definitely seems like some little lounge area. You have a nice chair right here, table, a lot of decorative items, artwork, and even a big box TV as well. Through this door, it's gonna be a very large shocker though. We are gonna see the master bedroom, but it is quite sad for sure. We believe this is how the man actually lived. He had a little hoarding problem, and this is how we ended up. I mean, this is definitely, without a doubt, the most beautiful room up here on the second floor. Gorgeous tray ceilings above, even crown moldings, and a lot of beautiful art all around. But the fact that he just discarded and hoarded this room completely is just so sad to me. And then we have two TVs right here that, of course, still work to watch TV from bed. Crazy amount of spiderwebs, too, all over. But, I mean, look at this floor. As I'm stepping around, it's just clothes and food and trash and everything like that. And look at the bed that he used to sleep on. There's so many magazines and papers on it. It's a massive bed for sure, but it's just covered. Very, very sad. We even have more model cars here too. And then this massive painting on the wall. And this is where things get pretty wild. This is the entrance to the bathroom and closet, but these are piss bottles. The man peed in the bottles and wow. So I guess he didn't have plumbing for some reason, maybe he just had to do it here. But I'm kind of nervous about stepping on this. Wow. Yeah, we just made our way to the closet. And here we have all his clothes still hanging up here, perfectly pretty much. And this seems to be a photo of him and maybe his family or co-workers. And then right above, beautiful gold watch. But I mean, you could even only imagine the amount of valuables and jewelry that are hidden in these drawers. He left everything behind, he took nothing. That's so strange to me. And on this side, this is where he kept all his suits, his fancy clothes, and his shoes as well. But the really cool thing about it, look at all this cash. Sane Deutsche Mark. So this seems to be German money, very old German money. We have a lot of tenors and a 20 right here. Wow, very unfortunate. Yeah, crazy closet, very, very big walk-in closet for sure. And then we have a bunch of shoes just going down along the shelf. And so I do really want to check out the bathroom, but I am pretty nervous about stepping on all of this. I don't want this to break. Oh man. I think we'll just look at the bathroom from here. Wow, but beautiful tray ceilings above. Very good pattern all over as well. And I mean, this is just crazy. The power of course still works. We still have a phone right there. A lot of prescription pills. And we can see the piss bottles, they go along all the way over there to the shower. So this literally the whole bathroom floor is just covered in these. Now that we've seen the office and the master bedroom, we gotta pass the stairs, go along this hallway and see these remaining rooms. And so right here we have tons and tons of water bottles and packets right here. It's a very, very sad situation that this man was in. I very, I really feel bad, but at least he did leave and 
Hopefully he's doing better now. Right here we have yet yeah, another bedroom, definitely a guest one. Not as fancy as the master one, but he did make sure to have a lot of art pieces here even too. The wooden box TV, very interesting look to it. And right here is very interesting. We have a picture of his cat. Here it is again. And then his family, this might be his mom and dad. That might be his wife. And this is even inside this very house. I recognize a lot of that artwork and the design. Fake plants as well. And the closet right here, just bedding. And then the bathroom right here on this corner. This one even has more bottles. Look at that. A lot of maggots and a lot of bugs and whatnot on this one. I can't believe the power still works. That has to be some sort of fire hazard. Look at that. But this is a pretty big one, not gonna lie. Very interesting wallpaper. And then we have white ceilings up top. But I mean, the soap is still left right under the shower. And then moving along, another flat screen TV down here. Of course, passing through all these water bottles. Right at the end of the hallway, we have two statues and a big bamboo plant as well. This is fake, unfortunately. And from here, we have a pretty gorgeous view of the foyer downstairs, right there where we started the video. We have the front doors. And so this room is definitely one of the good ones as well. Of course, the fan is still working. And this one, we see a lot of natural decay happening. Look at all that insulation falling. So water damage is definitely taking a toll in this place. And it's very sad to think that this is just gonna be demolished with everything still inside. Maybe from the car. Definitely an entertainment center though. We have two big leather couches right here and very big sound systems as well. Record player on this corner too. So we definitely played a lot of music here. Spent a lot of time relaxing, maybe entertain guests as well. And if we move into the bathroom, and the bathroom definitely matches the vibe. Steve Miller band and the sink. Wow, definitely a music man for sure. A lot of CDs, records all over this room. And then right across the hallway, we do have a few more rooms at the end of the second floor. It's just a closet, it seems. And then we have a door that leads to some attic. So definitely nothing here. I'm sure you could have kept a lot of stuff here though for storage. All right guys, well here we are in the main living room ending this video off. And I just have to say, this is one of the best spots I've ever seen just because of the beautiful M5 in the garage. And I hope you guys definitely enjoyed the video because I definitely did. And definitely check out Stringer Media, my friend Cam Explores and Exploring with Chris upstairs. They definitely helped out a lot. And if you want to see more, which there will be, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.